It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out of my mind. It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. I'm putting you out, trash day, I'm putting you out of my mind. Now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up the house. Taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage. <coughs> From stuffing to turkey to potatoes and gravy and even some bread made of rye. Tomorrow is turkey day, but all I can think is that sweet, sweet pie. If you smell what I'm cooking. But as for today... It's Can Crusher Day! And welcome to Can Crusher's... I'm stopping right there. That was amazing. <laughs> you did that in the half an hour that you went home and did whatever. You're drinking before me because you've already had this beer. But, wow. Well, you, like that? you are a lyrical genius. It's it's uh, Thanksgiving. I'm excited. This is my favorite holiday because I am a 350 pound man and I get to eat multiple plates of food. You watch football. Your and, Cowboys are on. And tomorrow. my Cowboys are on tomorrow. So not it's that that's be, anything good. Well, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not as good as it could be. Mark Martinez, Paul Bullers, two uh, everyday garbage men drinking beer, talking wrestling. Wrestling. And, we're and gonna, we got some wrestling to talk about. We do. We're going to jump right into our manager tournament, but get ready. The Can Crushers Manager Madness Tournament. And I don't have anything. That was all I got. That was kind of weird. you didn't do any homework for that. I did you spent not. an hour and a half on... Trying to rhyme words with Thanksgiving f- foods. And I didn't even rhyme that well. I just kind of mushed it all together. Like, I'm going to tomorrow with my corn. Okay, do you do corn uh, and mashed potatoes together? Is it cream or regular? Regular corn. I love cream corn. And ma- I will put them... I put anything together. But uh, my favorite is the cream corn on top of the mashed potatoes. Can you hear me in the background? Yeah, he's hungry. Grumble? He's hungry. we got to quit talking about food. And you just stir it up. You yeah. don't just set them on top. No, you, you stir the up. shit out of it. Yeah. All right. Um... Uh, so we're into what? Bobby Heenan uh, will take on Captain Lou Albano tomorrow morning at 9. Now, you know what? I'm not going to say tomorrow morning. Uh, people should not be on social media on Thanksgiving. No, be with your family. Let's go Friday morning. Friday morning, uh, uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan against Captain Lou Albano. Stay the hell off of social media tomorrow. I mean, you're going to get on Instagram and post your pictures with your food. And if it looks really good, tag me because I always like seeing good food at it's Can Crusher sixty nine right. on Instagram, so you can tag us in your food pics. You we'll can look even at tweet them. us if you want. Yeah, well, I, I don't know why you'd want to, but you could. We're gonna post pictures with our beers, and you've told me about this. Yes, this is my favorite beer. Uh, this is the well, it's one of my favorite beers. This is Dogfish Head Ale, which we, we've gone through over and over millions. again, millions. But this is and the, millions of times. Oh, there you go. Oh, my bad. I was I'm super excited about this beer. It's a Pennsylvania tuxedo, uh, and you got two guys just holding beers and flannel PJs. It looks like Neil and Tim Wonderly on this. It's definitely Neil and Tim Wonderly. That's what it's got to be. So this is Dogfish Head and Woolrich. So that's got to tell you something about it. Mark just took a drink. What do you think? Wow. You like that, don't you? This is nice. It is nice. This is a hell of a lot better than that 75-minute shit we had last week. A pale ale brewed with Pennsylvania spruce tips. What are spruce tips? Um, It's just the tip of the spruce tree. Just the tip? Mm-hmm. You're in trouble. You're in tr- oh, oh. oh. Nice segue, but we're not there yet. Let's talk about NXT War Games real quick. Not real quick, because this <laughs> was the best show uh, WWE put on out of... There was spots during the Survivor Series that I liked, and we'll get there. But uh, collectively... This was amazing. The, yeah, the, I mean, nonstop action. Uh, Even Matt Riddle just being there for his very first match and just showing what he's got with a knee. He did a knee. That's all. I was right. excited about that. But I'm excited to see Matt Riddle. When he walks out and kicks off his flip-flops. It's, <laughs> That's you. It, it's corny, man, but it's cool. I don't know if I like the surfer boy personification. Wait, you're all about 
uh, Zack Ryder and the other bro idiot. Listen, and, Zack Ryder is not a surfer boy. Whatever. It's still... It's the he same. is your internet reigning, defending Mm-mm. internet champion. I think we might have taken that away well, from Well, we probably could have. But we're the internet tag team champions. Thick. Thick. All right, first match on the real card then is Kyrie San against Shayna Baszler. Two out of three fall. And the first fall was really quick because the horse women got involved. Well, you kind of figured that was going to happen. It happened. But I thought it was going to be a third. Evolution. No, but it was right off the get. And I thought that match was pretty much over after that. I did too. I, I thought, thought it was going to be too real quick and we're just burying these women again. Well, I thought that because I thought, well, there's an empty spot on the SmackDown team, you know... Kyrie's getting called up real soon. My prediction, real soon. So I thought that would have been perfect for her to have her segue right into Survivor Series. But you'd think that uh, Baszler would be called up before that because the four horses. She's the women, champ right now. That's true. She's got to drop that. And I, I, we both predicted that she wasn't going to drop it. Right. So we actually didn't predict that, but we knew. We knew. Yeah, we knew. Uh, so Baszler wins the first one. Second fall with a Captain Spike DDT. Did you see it? Wait, she, on the hardest part of the ring, I have to get that in there. <laughs> but she just drilled her on the hardest part of the ring. And then the elbow, uh, on the outside. And she tosses her in in another amazing elbow. It, it was just high flying. It really was. Uh, she does this moon, her moonsault off of the top rope is... She actually jumps in the air and does a moonsault. No, that was Io Shirai that did the moonsault. She was... came out in the third match. Oh, my bad, my bad. I got it mixed up. Yeah, Io. See, uh, Mark has his stuff written down. I go by memory. I'm old. Everybody knows this. Um, so, Baszler wins the first one. Miggy's already eaten Thanksgiving dinner behind us, apparently. So, the third fall, the horsewomen get involved again. But, like you said, Io comes out and... Does that amazing moonsault where she jumps up and then flips. But uh, we're setting up for something, though, because we have uh, we have now a three-on-three three I, I think deal. I think Sane's going to be out of this, and I think EO is going to slowly slide in. I didn't like EO in the Mae Young Classic because she beat my girl. Well, yeah. But I, she's an amazing wrestler. Watch out for her. Uh, next up. I'm going to say, during NXT, this was my favorite match. Johnny Gargano against Aleister Black. Oh, this was definitely the, the best match of the night. Holy shit. Even, even the later matches, this match had everything. It, it, high spot, yeah, high spots, power spots, submissions. It just told the whole story between them, and it was ridiculous. Ridiculous, And I really feel like this isn't over yet, though. And I hope not. I hope not, because this is actually something that we can build from, just from this match. Right. Uh, you find out that, you know, this is backstory, that Gargano took out Black earlier in the summer. That's why he wasn't around. For a triple threat match. It was supposed to be a triple threat match. Uh, Aleister Black, Gargano, and your current champion... Tomasca? I can't say that. Tama- Campa. Campa, yeah. yeah. Tomasa Campa. Tomasa Campa. There yeah. we go. Uh, my English language is very, very spotty, spotty today. Spotty today. So, Black wins. Uh, if you didn't see it, I, I don't want to get in-depth about this match because you have to experience this match. Definitely, if you have have the time... Go on WWE Network and watch the NXT, NXT TakeOver War Games. Yeah, it, it was well worth it. Next up you have uh, the English Professor's new favorite wrestler of all time, Velveteen Dream. Is that, really? He loves him. I, I think, like that he paid homage to Hulk Hogan. Notes? You read my notes? I didn't read your notes. I can't see that far. It's really small writing. I can't believe you can see it. Right. Well, I got new glasses. New glasses. Uh, he faces Tommaso Ciampa for the NXT title. And get to the end of the match, Velveteen loses. But I think Velveteen loses because Royal Rumble's coming. And I think you're going to see a lot of NXT kids, here's my quotes, in this Royal Rumble this time. Well, you're going to have to because all the main roster is hurt. Yeah, it. They are that's later on in the notes as well. That's later on in the notes as well. Um, Campa just beat the shit out of him, more or less. Uh, I don't know about that. There was it no. was back and forth, but at the end, at the end, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was back and forth for a while. Uh, Velveteen tried. 
I love that he does Macho Man in Hogan. You know, yeah. he does the leg drop and he does the elbow. And that's every match. Depending on... He could be dressed as a zebra. Right. And that's... Whatever. Um, next up was... This is where I'm going to pause. The War Games match. Stop. Because, yes, it's a War Games match of now. But it's not... And you're not going to remember it because we said it in the truck on Monday... It's not the war games I remember. There's the no old cage. war games. There, it was more ominous. Right. It was more ominous. There is a cage. There's no cage over the top. It's not caged in. Mm-hmm. Um, There's no roof. Yeah, no roof. Because in NXT, there is no ceiling. You can go as high as you want. And good thing because... Time to grab the brass ring, bro. And uh, Ricochet needed that. He would have jumped through it and then back through it again. I'm almost positive he would. This match had everything too. Like you had your power guys, you had your tables, ladders, chairs, no ladders. Oh my! Kendo sticks, steel chairs with the undisputed signs on them. Right. Well, that was a pretty good idea. How soon before all of the 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 new four horsemen? Because that's what they are. They uh, really the undisputed air is kind of like the new four horsemen. I hope that they come up, and I kind of hope that they stay together. I, I we need a good faction. Yes. We, we, and we definitely need Adam Cole, baby! baby! We do, but we have to have the Undisputed Era drop the tag titles. So I'm thinking more WrestleMania-ish for that. Yes. Or the night after, because they'll probably drop the titles to the War Raiders at Royal Rumble-ish. You know, give them time to get a battle going. But uh, they're not in charge well, anymore. I think I think after War Games, the battle is already going. Well, it is going. I'm just saying the uh, Undisputed Era is not in charge of NXT right now as they lost this War Games match. So, yeah. Uh, great show. Great show. If you haven't watched it, make sure you do. That was my Sunday, folks. I woke up early in the morning. I watched, watched NXT. Wrestling, NXT, and then I kind of Took sat, a nap. Yep, definitely napped a little bit. I actually napped more t- in Survivor Series because I was just up for some unknown reason during the afternoon. I did too. So We'll get to that though. Yeah. Um. Now we're going to go to Mark for Rise and OVW. So Rise 21. Rise Ascent 21. Guys, if you don't have the app, it's $4.99 on Google Play or the iTunes App Store, whatever. First match is Holla Dead against Leva Bates. And Leva Bates comes out as Thunder Rosa. If you know who Thunder Rosa is, it's actually Holiday's partner during Twisted Sisters. And after kind of confusing Holiday a little bit, they started acting like a tag team. But then Holiday just drops Leva. Uh, Holiday controlled most of the match, and she picked up pretty much an easy victory over Leva. Out next is Indy Hartwell, and she takes on... LaFesto, and I saw LaFesto a few times. She's called the Wounded Owl. She was in IWC, uh, like I said, a few times, and she is just a hard-hitting woman's wrestler. Damn. Uh, Indy does jump the bell, though, gets the upper hand, but then LaFesto instantly, not, well, not instantly, but close enough, uh, just gets it and starts chopping down the taller Hartwell. Then she drags her over to the ring post and then smashes both legs off the ring post. Indy gets up, tries some high-risk moves, but LaFesto swats her away, ties her up and get her in a submission. Match over. Uh, backstage with Shotzi Blackheart, and she's like, listen, no more partners. No more shit. I'm coming after Paradise Lost Doomy is not going to, and she says this, so get the app, wipe Rosemary's ass. I am coming to get Doomy. So Shotzi uh, pretty much put Paradise Lost on notice, and she says she's ready to bite the head off a demon. Uh, Next up is New Nation versus Shaza. Viper and Alley and New Nation, you know, you know who they are. They just formed last week. Uh, Alley, you know, got stuck on the wrong side of town, more or less, as New Nation just beat the living but Jesus out of Alley. Viper does get the tag in and kind of stacks up everybody and does a cannonball in the corner, and then all hell breaks loose, and then everybody kind of hits their finisher, but Zoe Lucas. Gets the uh, scissors kick, uh, whatever Booker T used to call it, 
and Nails Viper for the 1-2-3 victory. And New Nation then comes on the mic after the match and puts well, Rise on notice that they are going to be around for a while. So Rise, make sure you get it, 4 dollars app. Uh, it, it's great. It's great women's wrestling. Make sure you uh, watch it. Next up is OVW 1005. First of all, as we have a minute, I want to thank again Al Snow and Chad Miller for coming on the podcast last Friday. Uh, this is why we're covering OVW. I'll uh, kind of have a working relationship with them a little bit. And it's going to be fun. We're, we're going to reach out to them soon and talk about their pay-per-view coming up. And this uh, episode of OVW has a lot to do with the upcoming pay-per-view. I pretty much see the writing on the wall. Uh, Randall Floyd comes out. He's starting the show by saying every time he's out here, somebody's interrupting him. Boom. G- just as he says it, Randy Royal comes out. Uh, they bicker a little bit. And then Rocco comes out and says, you know, everything's getting messed up. And he's he just starts bickering a little bit. And then uh, Smooth comes out. And the four of them just start bickering a little bit. Nobody's on the same page. And then Abyss appears on the monitor, the Jumbotron, and says, Hey, you know, you guys need to look around. Last week there was five of you. Now there's only four. I have pretty much taken one person away already. Uh, And you guys are just bickering with yourselves. Nobody will touch Abyss. Nobody will touch Abyss. And nobody is going to even look at my title. So, damn, Abyss has it right. I went to a commercial, and backstage, the four are still bickering again. Uh, That brings us to the first match of the night, and it's Dapper Dan, who... uh, was set to retire. You know, he he was ready to retire. And he's going to take on Eddie Knight for the TV title because Eddie promised him, you know, he's like, hey, I'll work something out. I uh, will get you a match. Uh, And he did. He got him a match. Dan, you know, went over and said, hey, thanks. And then, boom. Dan just drills Eddie Knight with a Death Valley driver, one, two, three, Dapper Dan is your new TV champion. Uh, pretty much a work from Dapper Dan right from the get is he says, you guys are all puppets. I put out fake news and everyone fell for it. KTD takes on Shotgun Tony Gun, And before the bell rings, Gun just blasts KTD, knocks him out. Bell rings, Gunn gets the win. That's a three-second match then, I'm thinking. Uh, After the match, the It Girls. Holy hell. The It Girls are back out and just making a mockery. But they do say, hey, they want to apologize for last week. But they're going to apologize only to each other. Because Brittany stuck her nose into everybody's business. And Mercy, Mercy has her pet rats. She brought her pet therapeutic rats to ringside. And the eight girls were going to take them unless Brittany bowed down to them. Well, after, you know, Mercy was like, they're my rats. I need my rats. Brittany does bow down to the eight girls. And then they leave. Something is coming up with them. I really hope Brittany just swats them in the face. Something happens. Uh, Recap of Dude and Revolver from last week. Then we have a match between Christian Hernandez and Mr. Marvelous. Dude's on commentary. Uh, Just back and forth, and then Marvelous gets the win. And all of a sudden, Revolver comes out, and Dude comes out to the ring, and a little bit of a melee. But Marvelous says, pretty much ends it himself, as he clotheslines Revolver and says, it's over between them. However, I don't think this feud's over. I think something more is coming. Uh, watch the dude, too. Just, just watch him. The guys are still bickering in the back. And I think this is the time during the show that Al Snow needed to step in. He needs to make you know a match between these guys at Christmas Chaos or something. The winner of them is the number one contender. Because we already know at Christmas Chaos, December 14th, 
in the cage within the cage, Abyss will take on the Hurricane. What's up with that? Shane Helms. Uh, Lutz and Cove are going to fight King's Ransom. And on paper, folks, this match should have been over before it started. But the entourage comes out. And they're at ringside. They cause a distraction. And Cove rolls up one of King's Ransom. Uh, They're no longer undefeated. But I don't think the undefeated streak really bothers King's Ransom. They are going to get their hands on the entourage. And I, Shiloh, you're done. Once these two get you, call it a night. That brings us to the TV kind of main event. The Void, Crazy Steve, and Amon against Dimes, Brogun, Zoe, and Brandon. It's a 10-man match. The good guys took control for a while. They really did. Um, but Abyss's army uh, just turns into what WWE has right now. They were low-blowing people, and uh, we need to stop this low-blowing in, in wrestling, guys. It, it, it is, as we say all the time, it's just a shtick. Uh, and it's stupid. It really is. I, I'm not a fan of the low blow. Uh, Abyss's Army beats everybody after the match. And then out comes Rocco, Floyd, Royal, and Smooth to clear the ring. And it kind of looks like they're on the same page. So we'll have to make sure we uh, stay tuned to OVW 1005 and see what's up. Right now we're going to take a break. And then we'll be back with Survivor Series Raw and SmackDown on Can Crushers. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. The wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. Collar and Elbow is the brand. Passion and love for wrestling is the drive. I am Al Snow, and this is Collar and Elbow, the wrestling brand. Make sure you check out collarandelbow.com this Friday as... Black Friday. Black Friday, thanks. It's 30% off of everything. What about Cyber Monday? I don't don't know. I just saw Black Friday ad. They didn't even tell me. I just saw it on their website that Collar and Elbow this Friday is going to have 30% off of everything. That's the time to get the shirts. Uh, You know what your problem is? You don't have your phone out. I don't have no that. notes. I don't even have there's that no written down. There's no notes on this. I don't even Heads have... up on what? What are we heads up in? This thing, you're getting 30% off. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Get 30% off. I'm, and I'm trying to tell you, do you want a shirt, jackass? Because uh, I'm ordering. We might. I might be. I got to oh, check them see? out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, oh, hey. you haven't been on collarandelbow.com yet? I've been busy. I, you know how I am with apps and stuff, bud. Mm. I suck at this game. You do suck at this game. Let's go to something that didn't suck as bad as you. Survivor Series? I didn't think it was horrid. Wow. It was predictable because I was the master. You could put, yeah. Eight to to five, Mark beat me. I didn't get one wrong. I didn't get one wrong. You didn't get one wrong. I'm that damn good. The only reason you beat me is because I picked against you. Well, no shit. That's how it works when well, you play no, some bets. But you would pick, and then I'd be like, well, yeah, you're probably right, but I'm going with this guy because... We gotta have some because you're a shit stir. Yeah, I'm a shit stir. So, are you going through this this in order? Way, in yeah. order, okay. All right. Uh, pre-show uh, right off the bat was Ru- the tag team seri- tag Wait! series match. Ruby and Nat got kicked off the the women's oh, team. You were going that. You were going well way because before. they don't even know what the hell is going on. Well, you said pre-show that because was. Ruby and Nat were fighting in the back, and they, you can't have that. You can't have dissension in the teams. No, SmackDown announced that Mandy is on the team, and Naomi is uh, and Naomi is the captain. Oh, uh, El Capitan Naomi. Okay, now this is my timeout because I said we, this is going to run long. Tons You're, of tons of timeouts. You are leaving soon, but this is where I have to bitch. I hate this Survivor Series. I said it last week. I'm going to say it again. I hate it. I'd rather have. 
Old school Survivor Series matches, I get it. You're I not don't wrong. care really? about this Raw versus SmackDown. What did it do for it, Monday night? What did it do for Tuesday night? Instead of your great, nothing. Instead of your great balls of fire pay per view, you need to have another night of champions pay per view. And do this shit and, there. Yes. And let me see Hacksaw Jim Duggan tugboat uh, in the Bushwhackers against. The Iron Sheik. But you have tons of feuds going right, right. now. You have Ambrose and Rollins. You, you have, know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, no. I do know what you mean. And you have Randy Orton and Ray. Ray. Like, you get them to get their Survivor Series teams. And guess what? You can pull off. Like, listen. Ray, if you want to, you can have the whole Lucha House Party. Great. Lucha. Lucha. But let them pick Lucha. from both brands. Both yes, brands. Yes, it'll make it both. more interesting. That would make it more interesting. Because and it would be more fun. Give two shits if Raw or SmackDown wins. But you still keep your storylines. Right. And you still have your battles. For your captain. Right. There, I get, and you don't like even, three air quotes already. And you don't even have to put your titles on the line, and I'd still watch that pay-per-view. I would, too. If you had, if you had Team Brock versus Team Braun. Right. Perfect. Right, and it would probably be a better match. And your storylines building up to this pay per view would be nice because you have everybody is involved. Right, you have Braun with Heat with pretty much everybody. Right, so now he's got to find three other guys to be nice to. Right, and nobody likes Brock Lesnar because he's never there. So nobody wants to be with him. Exactly, but you got to get your team. So he's gonna get like Heath Slater, Rhino, and there, and not tag them in, and then they're gonna change the whole story of the. Well, but yeah, it's look at us, we're freaking writers. We're not writers. We're barely writing this show. I've written a lot. We know. All right. Now it's time for... Tag Team Series Match! And New Day is starting us off. With... Who's with New Day? The Usos. The Cologne. Good Sanity, brothers. And the Good Brothers. And then we have Team Rob, Bobby Roode, Gable, Ascension, B-Team, Revival, House Party. We gotta name Roode and Gable. We don't. We need to. No, end. they're gonna. They're going to be your next tag team champions. Yeah, we didn't get there yet, Paul. We didn't get there yet. But we got to name them. We yeah, something. Glorious idiots. Wow. Uh, I have them written down in order who gets eliminated. But watch the damn pay per view. Uh, I was just writing stuff to write stuff. The thing is that uh, Xavier Woods. We all know what happens. We're just gonna recap everything. They did not want to give SmackDown this win. They keep saying that. It just ran away with the show. Raw got every. Why are they burying the tag team division everywhere? But they put, it's always on the pre-show, even like it's, yeah. it doesn't mean anything. You have two championships that haven't been up for grabs in how many months? Right. The Universal or not the Universal? The well, U.S. The U.S. and the um, Intercontinental. Intercontinental Championship. And the Universal's now going to be until at least Royal Rumble. Yeah, just on the back burner. Gone. Uh, SmackDown wins this, okay? It was a good match. It was a good there match. There was a lot of sticks and, you know, and everything. Sticks but and stones. Sticks and stones. Nobody's bones got broke? No, no. But uh, it was fun. It, it was a fun pre-match. Uh, it's just long. Uh, I'm glad they didn't... Once one person got pinned, the other person could stay. I'm glad the whole team left. Yeah. Because, God forbid, you saw on Raw. Uh, Alexis comes out and names the legit huggers as the replacements. And that's good, because you... You need Bay You Lee need them on Survivor right. Series. All right, now we're to the main show. And, Paul, the women get shit on right off the bat because they have to be the opening match. But do they get shit on because... An opening match is supposed to get everybody up and going and everything. Right. It was a great match. But why can't, why can't we have Ambrose against... I mean, Rollins against Shinsuke first. Right. Why does it have to be the women? Yeah, stir in the pot. You're right, and you're not wrong, but this is how WWE does it, so... Okay, so Mella, Naomi, Mandy. Mandy comes out. Did you notice Man- Mandy? Right. Did you notice Mandy has now got the gold dust cam? Yeah. That's gold dust. It's perfect. Because she is golden, Marcus. Mella, Mandy, Sonia, Asuka... And Naomi for SmackDown. Mickey, Nia, Tamina, and the Legit Huggers for Raw. And I, there's a lot of stories in this. There's a ton of stories in this. Right. You you, you realize that Raw wins everything from here on out. Um, there's just a ton of stories in this. And I like what they're doing with Mandy and Sonya. I really like this. I, I 
It gives them something to do. And it again, this is where they need another woman's title on both brands. Or tag team titles. Or tag team titles. But they're a great tag team. Right. Uh, so, whatever. Uh, Naomi screws over Sasha at the end to push her off. And she gets uh, Asuka to tap. Asuka makes her tap. And Naomi destroys Asuka. What the hell? Na- Naya. My God, I can't even read my own... Text. Wow. Right? That was it, rough. It, it just builds up Naya as being the woman. Hashtag face buster. And the fans hated her. And it's perfect. They hated That's her. That's perfect heel. Yeah, perfect heel. But they hated her because Becky wasn't there. Right. They're, Not that they hate her because they she's a good woman. No. They, they hate her because she hurt their favorite champion right now. Yeah. It was, like I said, good match, good story, kept everything in line. Uh, next out, Steph, Corbin, Paige, Shane, bantering in the back of what could happen, blah, blah, blah. All right, Rollins against Shinsuke. This was actually a great match. Because they're both performers. In no funny business. Nope. None. And I'm glad Dean didn't come in for this Which match. we were surprised about, because my pick was Shinsuke, because I thought that it, uh... Realistically, I did too, but... Rollins was, or Ambrose was coming out to attack him. Right. But... Uh, Seth, just a little bit better than Shinsuke. I don't know. Pausing again. I don't know. Do you think Shinsuke resigns when he's done? I don't think so. I don't... Uh, he's I think not... they gave him this title and it was to maybe keep him happy. I still don't think he's happy. He hasn't been uh, New Japan Shinsuke. I've seen some of those matches. He hasn't been... Uh, he hasn't been welcomed warm. Right. Warm, well, whatever. I, whatever. Uh, next match is The Bar against AOP. And <laughs> AOP. You're in luck. That was a joke. You're funny. Uh, this match was AOP against the Mulkies. You know, you don't know who the hell the Mulkies are. They were a squash team in NWA back in the day. But... That's the, not true. The bar had no, a little bit of... No, very little. Very little. But, but, yeah, the best thing the bar did was Big Show choked Drake Maverick to make him pee. That's it. Mm-hmm. This was... That was pretty much the match. This should have been your main... Uh, this should have been your... Opener. Opener. Yeah. Next up was Buddy Murphy against Mustafa Ali. Now this was a match. Uh, Mustafa Ali ripped off DJ Z from the get. His whole uh, glow-in-the-dark stuff... DJ Z has been doing that in TNA and IWC for a while, and this jackass just is now running with it. <laughs> I maybe maybe he ripped it off from Naomi. No, maybe she's the glow scum. Maybe he's feeling the glow. Yeah, you feel this glow. Wow. Um, rewind real quick. That's what we forgot to touch on during the bar and AOP match. There's a stirring in the crowd. There is a stirring in the crowd, and... Because bada boom, realest guy in the room, how you doing? What the hell? Hey, man. How did he make it in? Everybody... Everybody buys a ticket. They can't tell you that you're not allowed in there if you buy a ticket. You got fired from this place. I get it, but... I mean, I've been fired from a couple places. I still go and into there and help them out or buy, them, buy the stuff there. I don't know. Take his money. Let him sit there and they, be an idiot. They did. It, my the only thing I have a problem with is the poor lady that got taken down out as he was getting yanked out of yeah, the crowd. She, she kind of got hurt. She got a little bit of hurtness. So, so bada boom, broke this guy in the room. How you doing? Yeah, the, probably something's gonna come up with this. I some people asked if it was a work or I don't think it's a work because no. the next night they had posters up. Do not let yeah this jackass in. Yeah. Uh, back to Buddy Murphy and everything. Uh, it was great. It was a great match. And I like Buddy Murphy. I really do. I mean, this is on me. Buddy Murphy cut some weight. Because he used to be... Buddy Murphy used to be a, a regular weighted champion. Thicker like he, guy. Yeah. But he cut the weight. Now he's a cruiserweight. And he's doing a hell of a job in the cruiserweight division. I, I was just saying, I, I hope he puts weight on. Because I could get behind him on one of the other shows. This is on us. We should watch 205 my, more. But... There's just something about it that I just don't like. I'm open. I don't like that it's a, it shouldn't be its own separate entity. It, it should be on both brands and go with that. You don't have that many guys on it. Yeah, it, yeah, you don't. All right, next up is the men's uh, match. Raw guys are Finn Zig, 
Drew, Braun, and Bob. SmackDown guys are The Miz, Shane, Joe, uh, Ray, and Jeff. And prior to the match, Renee Young says she likes Bob's new pose because baby got back. Wow. So, uh, divorce in the making. Oh, I don't think so. No. Um, uh, but I, maybe because she seemingly doesn't have any idea what's going on with Dean Ambrose anymore. Good. Good. Because I, they ask her. We'll, we'll talk about that in Raw here in a little bit, but every time. Why was one of your most hated guys eliminated in the first 30 seconds of this match? <laughs> Joe should have been somebody. It would have made it more... Uh, Believable if Joe and the Miz were left, right? Or you know, they have done. Joe is not one of my most hated guys. Joe is a workhorse. No, I love him, but I mean he's a he's a bad guy. Holy Christ, with the quotes, and he's getting pooped on. He is getting pooped on big time. If I was Joe, I would be looking for another venue. See ya, R O H. You're not using me like you should. I'm going yeah. somewhere else because Joe is a good bad guy. Maybe uh, this whole Jericho, Jim Ross thing coming up. Ooh. I don't know. Uh, How about Braun smacking, or Shane O'Mac trying to go coast to coast and Braun just... He did once on Zig. Yeah, but Braun, he tried it again and Braun just smacked him right out of the air. Flice water. Uh, This was good. This was a fun, it was a fun match. Right. The writing was on the wall the Monday before, though, with the stipulations. When there's two stipulations to a match, they're going to happen. They're. I mean, if it's one, eh, if there's two, Braun wins. Come on. Uh, next up was Flair versus Rousey. The... MFN match of the night. Well, you were pumped. You were pumped for this, and I. I mean, you it, fell asleep during it. Yeah, I fell asleep during it. This is horseshit. This, this was a. People were already bashing it, saying, "Oh, because what Flair did, it's not a five star match anymore." But here's my middle finger. This set everything up. So my question is, did Flair carry Rousey? You know what? This is probably the best uh, wrestling I've seen Rousey. Thus far. Oh, that's awesome. I don't understand how they did it within the three days if they just sat in an arena and played. Probably. And I wanted to, what I wanted to do was watch it before I got here, but I've been did. busy. But instead, you put a half an hour in on the entrance. Well, I mean, what's more important? The entrance and me being funny or me actually knowing what the shit I'm talking about? Uh, let's... That's going to be the poll for hey, but Saturday. Listen. That's going to be the poll for Saturday. Does Paul know what the hell he's talking about, or is he just entertaining? Paul never knows what he's talking about, and I'm just trying to be entertaining. Mark is the brains of this operation. Everybody knows that. Paul does two things. One, he makes a great entrance. Two, he drinks the beers. And then he leaves quickly. See ya. Um, this match was great. Uh, it just, I said this about several matches during the whole, it told a story, it told a story about Flair not being able to get over Rousey, but Rousey couldn't get over Flair as well, so they would throw everything against the wall, and then Flair just got frustrated. This was frustration Sunday night. What happens later in the week is completely different. This was frustration, and then just to beat the shit out of Ronda with a kendo stick, and then wedge her neck in a chair and stomp on it. Damn. About time the queen is back. Yeah. You know what? Charlotte's not a baby face. Charlotte is a heel, but she's a baby-faced heel. Yeah, yeah, everybody everybody loves her. I love her. Be- kind of like Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is a baby face heel. Yeah. And the, the difference is they're, they're not dastardly, but, yeah. they are, but they are tough. And they're mean. And that is what you need. Like you, It's somebody that you like to hate. Right. But you love... You don't even want to hate them. No. Yeah, right. You, I love to hate The Miz. Exactly. The Miz is another one of them baby face heels. Right. I love to hate The Miz... Randy Orton, I hate the love. Oh. Wow. Um, so this was great. It really was a great match. I like what they did. They're setting up more. They're actually going to build this for probably a WrestleMania match as well. Oh, yeah. The downfall is, now what the hell does Becky do? Well, Becky's got a Becky's got a face buster to right, deal with. I really could give two shits about because her. Because I don't know. I, I like the banter the, on Twitter. The, the Twitter banter is good. Jericho's involved now. Everybody's involved. Yeah. 
Becky, Becky is ruthless. She is red hot right now. Like, legitimately, Becky is the best thing going in the WWE. The best thing I've heard, Becky, best thing I've read on t- Twitter so far was... On what? On Twitter. Okay. <laughs> because I'm on Twitter, I can't crush your 69 Twitter. That's our Twitter. We're t- we tweet every once in a while. But, Chris Jericho says something about Becky Lynch's concussion, and she said, actually, I felt great after... I got punched in the no. I got sucker punched. punched. I got the concussion later trying to listen to the Fozzie album. Yeah. Nailed it. It's awesome. It, 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 Becky, it, if you follow anybody on Twitter, delete everybody and just follow Becky. Follow the man, Becky Lynch. Next up was your main event. Uh, Brock versus Daniel. And for the first ten minutes, Brock just beat the living hell. As Brock's walking down, Daniel is instigating the shit out of him. He is. And then guess what? Our third grade writer steps up and be like, you know what would be funny in this match? A nut shot! A nut shot. So now Daniel Bryan is nut shotting like Shinsuke did. Right. Okay. Uh, Yep. Yeah. So now we have urine jokes and we have nut shots. Get your shit together, WWE. Yeah, I mean, if this is PG... I'm watching NXT from now on. Like, I don't even care to watch Raw or SmackDown. Like, I'll talk NXT with you every Wednesday, but... You're done? With Raw and SmackDown, I'm pretty much over it until they get some better storylines. You've been out for a couple weeks anyway. I have been out for a couple weeks anyway. So, Brock wins. Uh, Daniel comes real close, but it was an okay match... Once no, Daniel wasn't. got in. No, once This is the last got... time we see cock chest for a while. <laughs> so we're on Raw. Raw, Raw, Raw. Raw, Raw, Shish Boom Ba. Corbin comes out, introduces Steph. Steph's all excited. And then Corbin's like, listen. Corbin! Comes no, out. No, not yet. It's close enough. You just wanted to yell. I didn't want to yell. Corbin... It says, Steph, listen, you made some promises, and how about me being the actual general manager? She made some promises. And then Braun comes too. out. Yeah, And Braun. Baron Corbin's about to get these hands. And he wants a match with the slime ball. Yep. And the match is announced for TLC. And Braun's like, yippity doo da. Here's I'm my excited. stipulation. You're getting tables, ladders, and chairs. So oh, it's my. A, so it's a TLC match at TLC. Which every match at TLC should be TLC matches. And then he says, what about my match with Brock Lesnar? He's, if you, now she's putting stipulations that she's already promised. She's like, if you beat Corbin, you can have your match at Royal Rumble. Okay. So, but there's two stipulations to this. Because if Corbin beats Braun, then he gets to be general manager. Right. So, but you earlier you said when there's two stipulations in a match, it normally goes the way you think it's going to go. But these are two separate si- situations. So which way is it going to go? He's going to get fired. Braun's going to get his match against okay against Brock Lesnar. But as of right now, we're going to have an elimination match, which took longer than a five person elimination. This was an hour match. Yeah. All right, this, the first little bit was about ten minutes. Corbin McIntyre and Bobby Lashley against Braun, Finn, and why can't I think Elias. Of Elias. There you go. Only three people got eliminated from this match. There's a lot of Fs that would have come tonight again. Finn, Elias, and... Braun, sort of. Mc, no, McIntyre got DQ'd. All right, whatever. But then Braun kind of got eliminated as well. Well, he definitely got eliminated. Got but we'll talk about we got he got his arm crushed by his steel. Sh- his elbow shattered. We I thought we were gonna wait till later, but okay, now we're gonna go with it. You know, it they did it during this segment. He got hit with he got hit with steps. the steps, but they didn't tell you it was shattered until the end of the night. Yeah, it's enough. The bad guys win. Yeah, it, but still, an hour and only three people were eliminated. So next up is your next half hour of Raw. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Yeah, they first recapped what happened the last three weeks. And then Seth comes out and is still begging for Ambrose to tell him what's up. Because he really didn't like what he told, told him last week. So he wants something else. Right. More or less. Dean says... If you want answers, come find me. Yeah, more or less. I'm rolling around in the locker rooms. Find me. So guess what Seth does? He goes and looks for him. For the rest of the night. And you and don't worry, worry. Oh, don't worry. They're, they're all listed. Least, you have at least four or five, four or five minute segments. 
Like I said, this is another half hour raw that was pointless and wasted. And then guess who we talked to about this? Who did we talk to about Poor this? Renee Young. Yeah. Renee Young, so... uh. What's going on with Dean? Yeah. Seth says, hey, I've never heard Dean say I love you. I love and the word love. So he didn't go to his wedding when he married Renee. Wow. There, there was no love there? No. No. Oh, uh, Renee, you you look nice, nice today. That was a nice dress. You look nice. It's boss time. Good to see you. Boss time. And legit huggers. The legit huggers come There's out. Nye and Tamina. Yeah, Alexis on commentary and... Legit Huggers held it for five minutes. Yeah. And then Naya Tamina just crush him. That's just to show that the woman's... Naya's the face breaker. The Samoan SWAT team for women are just powerful. That's all. That really is. Uh, Dean's in the back. He interrupts Charlie as Charlie's getting ready to interview somebody else. And he says, hey, I just want to tell you, Seth, I'm where the shield always hung out. Where's that at, Paul? In the boiler room. Well, we no. don't know yet. We don't know because then Seth starts running after him. Wanna know? Uh, backstage, is, this is probably your favorite part of Monday Night Raw that you didn't see. Um, no, I did see this. They're at the buffet. They're at the buffet. They're at the buffet. And everybody's cracking jokes at Drake. And how many of these do you remember? Because I'm just throwing them up. Because if you don't tell any, you're in trouble. Drake, uh, I bet you're looking for some peas. Ha 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 ha. And then, my favorite one is when Drake Maverick goes, you're in big trouble now, and Bobby Roode and Chad Gable just kill it. Because urine is funny. Urine is pointless. Uh, next up is Lucha against... Lucha! 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 Lucha House Party. All three of them are allowed in the match. It's Lucha House Rules. So why can't New Day... How's that? They don't have Lucha House rules in the New Day. They have the Freebird rules, which is the three... The Freebird rules. You just cracked at 40-some years old. Yeah, puberty's going backwards now. It's going backwards now. Uh, The Luchas get the win. I I still cannot get behind them. I don't care that... Burying the revival yet again. I don't care that I'm Mexican. Uh, Recap of Flair and Rousey from SmackDown... And then more of Seth and Dean. Yes, still looking for him. He's in the boiler room now. Guess what? Dean's not there. Nope, but on the door it says burn it down. He painted that. Well, he's an artiste. He is. Out comes Ronda Rousey, and she's not smiling tonight. Thank the Lord. I don't think she can smile. I think uh, Charlotte wiped that off with a kendo stick. She knows she's got Nia TLC, but... She's a fighting champion. Okay, so the, here's what I got. Wow. Now oh, I'm you're, excited. You're, you're pausing. Oh, so, uh, time out. So Ronda is like, when you're a champion, you defend your belt every day, every chance you get. And this is Ronda Rousey, ex-UFC champion. But there's another champion that's an ex-UFC champion that doesn't really defend his title all that much. Right. So, at all. At all. So, I, I like what Ronda had to say, and I love the open challenge. This is my worst day. But Baron Corbin comes out and is like, listen, you're not. You're, you're not. not. We're, we're protecting you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't want protected. I want somebody. And she, and he says, listen, Baron, get somebody or you. you want a shot at the champ. Baron was scared. So, he went and he got Mickey. But, right. Nothing, Nothing against Mickey. How about, this is where... I would have loved to see Mickey James win the title. No. I, right no, here. No. Do you, just, no. Just because. No. no. Because it just no. happened to Seth Rollins. No. Yes. This is where I would have loved to see an nxt or come up. Right. Anybody. A- anybody. Just to add a little spice. It's like, holy shit, da 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 is here. Or maybe Ember. That would have been nice too. Yeah. Not, Mickey James is as old as me. No. Nope, I didn't get excited about this at all. Well, Not at all. But she got Mickey, she got Mickey James, and she beat Mickey James. And as Ronda was leaving, Nia and uh, hashtag Facebuster. Jesus, Nia and uh, Tamina comes out, and she blows her kit, blows her fist off, and taps the title. Pretty much smacks Ronda in the ass. And says, "That's gonna be mine." So then we recap. Whoa, 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 wait. Hey, by the way. You watching it? 
I, we don't know the matches. Uh, Starcade is on Sunday night at eight o'clock. Yes, I'll be watching it. Uh, we'll, watch. We will recover it. We'll recover it. We'll cover it. But uh, we don't know the matches. They just announced everything. This is where I'm going to pause again. I don't like that Starcade is just a house show. Why? This is. This was WCW's like major show. NWA's major show. Night of the Skywalkers. Go back and watch that. The Road Warriors against Midnight Express. Then the Midnight Express have fights a fantastic. This is the the scaffold match. Do something actually to make it a Starcade type of match. It's a really? it's a house show in Cincinnati. Well, which is Saturday night, and then they're just going to show you shit that they want to show you, right? On Sunday, oh, we're still going to watch it. Um, next up is Gable and Rude against AOP, and they were and they were in big trouble. Can we just call him AO? I feel bad for Drake. I, I think we should leave the P out of it. <laughs> Speaking of peeing, um. This was a huge loss, I think. For AOP? For, yeah. This was nice. And that's what I said. Rude and Gable are going to be your next tag team champions, bud. So why give it to AOP already? So, but here's the thing that I don't understand. Why do you make, why are you making these guys so indestructible and then, but they get like a quick roll up? Yeah. Like, let them be beat every once in a while. A roll up is a punch anymore. You, there's been so many roll up victories that it's just ridiculous. And another thing I don't like is why are they? So we got Bobby and or we got Rude and Gable against AOP. They win next week. We'll have AOP against Rude and Gable, and oh, AOP, maybe singly. And, oh yeah, singly. You have all these jobbers on like main event, and we say this every week. Like throw them in the magic and let one of them interfere or right. make, do something awesome. Right. But this is I'm tired of seeing the same faces over and over again. So, Dean's still saying, Seth is whining, if you find me, I'll shatter you, I'll crush you, and then Dean smells something bad, and L.A. people stink, I guess. It's, well, L.A. people stink, and Seth Rollins is scared. Uh, so, Seth says, hey, I got a red eye to catch. Peace out! Then he leaves. So, then it was Nat and Ruby. Rudy Riot. Ruby Riot. This was just quick. This was just... This was a fight. This is a, this is all it was was a fight. Yeah, it was a fight, and Nat just I think Nat snuck a victory. Nat got a roll up win. Yeah, and it's over. Oh, there it is, Braun. His shoulder shattered. His, Sh- his elbow. elbow shattered. Yeah, there we go. Now we know. And uh, and then Dean one more time. Seth comes out and it Dean kind of, comes out into the ring. Finally, he's like, "Yeah, she told you Seth was scared." Then all of a sudden, here comes Seth. You know he didn't have a red eye. You know what's funny? Watching these clowns try to run in tight ass pants. That's like us trying to write running run. when our pants are wet, our jeans are wet on the garbage route. I can't move. Smackdown's on Tuesday nights for a little bit longer. And Charlotte's the first one out in LA. Finally, LA's wrapping it up. Four shows. Get the hell out of LA. And Charlotte just wants a fight. And guess what? Here comes the iconics. Well, Paige comes out. Yeah, Paige does come out. I don't even know what Paige says. Well, Paige, find her a hundred million dollars. A hundred grand. A hundred thousand million dollars. Trillions. And fake money. Trillions and trillions. We have a cobweb on my light. So we, need to, we need to clean in here. So you're weekend. telling me that Charlotte gets fined a hundred thousand dollars for punching six officials, but Ronda Rousey just the other day went through like Five bodyguards and six officials, and she doesn't get anything. Nothing. This is dumb. Not, well, Paige can't find Ronda. So Flair gets, uh, then the Iconics come out, and they were going to talk some trash. Flair's like, you know what, I'm going to fight one of you. She fights Billy Kay. Beats the piss out of her. And after that, Flair's like, you know what, I'm not done. Peyton Royce, get your butt in here. And Beats the piss out of her. Well, she re- well she doesn't really pin uh, Peyton Royce, because Billy Kay comes in and hits her, you know, and yeah. then... She beats the piss out of both of them. Uh, Ray says Randy is sadistic right now, and they're both at the top of the game, and later on, they're going to fight. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. That's great. Guess what we have? Another recap of the WWE title match last week. More on Daniel later on tonight. Thank God that we got to see Daniel Bryant nut kick somebody again. Uh, Miz TV with Shane, and this will be a match at WrestleMania. Shane versus Miz. Really? Yep. It's going to happen. That sucks. 
I'd, I'd rather where it's the, going. I'd rather see the Miz versus Daniel Bryan again or AJ Styles. Nope, nope. It, it, I'm telling you, it's setting up for they're, they're buddy buddy. They're way too buddy buddy right now. So Shane and the Miz, the Miz is like, listen, you should be my tag team partner because we're both awesome. We're both the best in the world. Let's, the Bryant brothers come out. Let's let's go against the Bryant brothers. Yeah, I know, I know you. I I know what you're trying to say, but no, no, that something's gonna happen. And uh, Wayne and Dane get what kind of victory? Uh, roll up, right? New Day comes out as pilgrims. But I, did you see the freaking gobbly gooker was? Out? I did see the gobbly gooker, and it was the most perfect gobbly gooker. What's up? <laughs> I hated this freaking match. Why? This was ridiculous. The, stepping back. There's so many ways that people could have torn anything. Achilles, this, that. And muscles that I don't even know about, I'm going to name. Why do we need to have a elementary school fight, a food fight, on this? It's stupid. We're at the PG air, buddy. It is stupid. Stupid. This is why we have nut kicks and it urine is jokes. Stupid. This was ridiculous. I don't care. New Day wins. I just hate. You put a freaking turkey on your hand and punch somebody. F that. This was stupid. Wow. So Randy's in the back and he's playing with a mask. The same mask that I have in the dresser, so, the drawer. Uh, do you think he has wrestle box? You know what? I lost your challenge. Actually, I didn't lose your challenge. That you challenged me last week. I, I loved all of NXT. So I win this week. You win this week. But this brings me right back to hatred. Hatred. Again. So he Randy does have accept- a wrestle box, by the way, to answer your question. Randy accepts Bray's challenge. Says he's going to take his mask. First time in 12 years. Didn't they just fight in the freaking crown jewel? Yeah. But it wasn't in America, so it doesn't count. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. You're drinking. So. No, first time in 12 years on SmackDown. Bud. All right, whatever. Sonia and Mandy. Take on Asuka and Naomi. So Gloska starts hot. And Mandy and Naomi are having some issues. And Asuka gets to build a tap. Great. There's your match. Guess what we did? We recapped Randy and Ray from 12 years ago. Great. <laughs> They've been battling. And then this... I was lost when Daniel Bryan came out and said, Hi. What the hell was he saying? You told me earlier, and I've completely forgotten since then. Um, This is basically, look what you made me do. This is a fan's fault. This is why I am the way I am. He relived his career, his retirement, his marriage, uh, Bree's pregnancy, the delivery of the baby, the comeback, the family nights, the family game nights, the pain, the Wyatt family, Mickey eating tacos. What the hell? What? Who cares? It was stupid. You know what? He did say, look what you made me do. I, so, that's a Taylor Swift song. Yeah. So, I, I thought maybe... Tay-Tay was going to come out. Oh, my God. I was hoping. Last match, Ray versus Randy. It was hard. I, I watched it this morning before work. And it was a hard-hitting match. Um, Ray, Randy was trying to rip off the mask a little bit. The The coolest thing, though, uh, Randy is laying out on the ground, and Ray tries to come and do his sliding thing. And as he's sliding, Randy sits up. Bam! RK out of nowhere. Picks him up. Tosses him in the ring. Bam! Another RKO. One, two, three. Which we've seen this one coming. That wasn't out of nowhere. Right. And then uh, gets a gets a chair, wraps it around his neck, bounces him off the ring post, and his mask pops off. Oh, my God. Woo! We've the, never seen Rey Mysterio's face before. Why are we worried about Rey Mysterio's face? Why? We've seen... He was part of the Latino world order. Right? But nobody cares about being unmasked, Ray. We know who you are. You're... Rey Mysterio, bro. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Guess what we're coming up with next? Break two of the garbage tip of the week! When I grow up, I want to be a new pair of blue jeans. When I grow up, I want to be a kid's first computer. When I grow up, I don't want to be a piece of garbage. And if you recycle me, I won't be. Give your garbage another life. Recycle.
Learn how at IWantToBeRecycled.org. Brought to you by Keep America Beautiful and the Ad Council. So, wait! I, I didn't know what you were calling a pig for oh, a minute. Wow. So we've gone pretty much over all of our sponsors during the... Except! Podcast, except for the greatest sponsor we got. Well... We haven't read that. So Pat Lano's Place 2, 814-772-7576. Friday night, we will be down there eating pizzas, hoagies, and grinders, and enjoying everything. I'll be there. Uh, Lupino will be there. The English pre- professor will be there. Jack. I don't know where the hell Paul is. Today is Wednesday, November 21st. In eight days, you'll have a month. To get Pat Lano. Yeah. Pe- get your ass down there. So go see Dom while you can. Yeah. Because it's delicious. Uh, thanks to the beer sponsor, Sw- S- beer sponsor Swanson's Auto Body and Customs, 814-389-2294. We'll break it. He'll fix it. Pro Printing and Office LLC, 814-834-3006 for all your printing necessary stuff. Needs. Shirts. Needs, shirts. Decals. Coozies. Keep your beers cold. Underwear. We already talked about collar and elbow. Check them out this Friday for... 30% off. 30% off. Mark's excited. Check us out on can- on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Can't Crush 69. Overcast, Boxcast, Buzzsprout, Stitcher, Alexa, Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Are in all the places that you can listen to us. In places that I don't really even look at. Right? Uh, you can check us out. At https colon backsplash backsplash cancrusher 69wixsitecom backsplash cancrushers. Don't forget, you can also email us at cancrusher69 at gmail.com. Don't forget that you can also, no, I'm just kidding, go ahead and go what you're doing with. To vote this Friday. We're taking Thursday off for the finals of Manager Mayhem Millennial Madness. Mark is great. Can crush your tournament. Mark, there's a reason why I am the guy that is entertaining and drinks beer, and you're the guy with all the knowledge. Well, you didn't do shit earlier. What was... I'm, my intro was fantastic. It was, and that was it. Here it is. You, you, never mind. So much just went through Let my head. Let the music play. Garbage tip of the week, Mark, because I'm tired of hearing your mouth. Um, wow. I'm just kidding. I'm never tired of hearing your mouth. Garbage you tip of the week mouth. is, listen, when you ha- when you set your garbage out on the curb and it has snowed a tremendous amount and there are snow piles Tremendous! All over the place, tremendous amounts and there are snow piles all over the place, don't be the guy that sets it on top of the snow pile or behind the snow pile when there's a nice little driveway you have all shoveled off. Garbage man doesn't want to walk through your yard to get your garbage in through the snow. Set it in a nice little spot you got covered up there. You ain't going to run it over. Yeah, that or shovel another little spot off for your garbage man. It'd be nice of you. You probably should shovel your mailbox out. And guess what? While we're at shoveling stuff out, if you got a fire hydrant in your yard, shovel that out too. Because when your house catches on fire because you're stupid and you try to cook a, deep, a frozen deep fried turkey or a frozen turkey in a deep fryer and the fire department can't get to the fire hydrant it's your fault because you didn't shovel out the fire hydrant you know what happens you know what happens mark mark do you know what happens when you don't shovel out your fire hydrant you just made the list uh and then you also call the office and bitch because i threw your cans i am not gonna lie if they're sitting on freaking mount everest i don't give a shit where they end up they're if you're gonna be that dick I'm going to be that dick right back to you and throw your cans. I believe it's called Karma. Karma was a hell of a I miss her. She was a She was, I think she'd give Naya a run for her money. She was thick. She was thick and thick. Hey, remember, just because you're trash, it doesn't mean you can't do great things. It's called a garbage can. Not a garbage cannot. Enjoy Starcade Sunday night. No, but- listen, before you enjoy Starcade. No, I, I was ending with that. If you would let me say it. Enjoy Starcade Sunday night with your family. But but tomorrow tomorrow take time on Thanksgiving Day and enjoy your family. I was listening because wait, I was listening to Big D and Bubba as I was driving today, which is a radio a country radio station. Well, radio show. Big D and yeah. And the the lady was just saying thank you. 
just say thank you, and even to your family. Just, you don't know what your family does day in and day out. Like, I want to punch Paul in the face, but I thank him now because of what we kind of have going. Oh, we're killing it. I just want to say, take time and say thank you and enjoy what? everything that you have. What the hell do you want to punch me in my face? It took me 33 years to get this good looking, and you want to ruin it with that little Mexican dick meter? <laughs> Whoa! Wow, guys! Uh, happy Thanksgiving. We love you. We do love you. Happy Thanksgiving from the Can Crushers. Mark, send us out. Yeah.